All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna be installing this duck bill spoiler. So I got this off of Amazon for a really good deal and uh, the reviews say that it fits pretty nicely and that the paint match is good. So I decided to go ahead and switch out the factory spoiler for this one, for this duck bill, and um, I'm looking forward to it. So I'm gonna try to be as clear as possible with the install instructions, but it should be pretty simple. Let's go ahead and um, start by opening it and see what's inside. So it looks like some 3M tape and some screws are included, which is always a good sign. So we're gonna go ahead and set that aside. Um, I'm assuming we're gonna have to put this on the back side of this, so. And the brand is 3A Motor. And what I liked about it is that it comes pre-drilled with holes. So just a reminder that I'll put all links in the description below so you guys can check it out for yourselves. So let's start the install by removing the stock spoiler and then we'll go from there. The removal of the stock spoiler should be pretty easy. Uh, you just wanna start off by taking off this cover right here. You can either use a flathead screwdriver or one of these prying tools. So there's a total of eight of these push clips and after you get those off, the cover just comes off, just like that. So you wanna go ahead and set that aside for now. So you'll need an eight mil to remove the screws up above. And I'm gonna try to zoom in here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So hopefully you guys can see that, but there's one bolt right there. This one, right where my index finger is. So there's one, and here's the other one for the left side. Where my index is right there. Go ahead and if you have an extension line around, go ahead and use that. It'll make it a whole lot easier. And you can access the bolt from the bottom right here. It looks like there's actually two bolts that are holding in the spoiler, but there are a few clips that are holding it in place, so uh, we need to go ahead and pull it off. That was not a pleasant sound. I just got the first couple clips off, but I am just gonna keep going. All right, so we finally got the stock spoiler off. So there were two bolts and then one, two, three of the push clips that you have to pry out. I didn't use any heat or anything like that and it worked fine for me. So we'll go ahead and set that aside. And the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and clean this up because that is dirty. So to clean this off, I'm just gonna use some of this spray and a microfiber cloth. And then afterwards, we're gonna hit it with some isopropyl alcohol just to strip all of the chemicals off of the trunk so that the 3M from the new spoiler would stick on here. And this is about 50-50. Um, there was about this much left where my thumb is and then I just filled the rest up with water and that should do just fine. All right, so we got that nice and clean. But before the isopropyl alcohol, let's go ahead and put the tape onto the duckbill spoiler, uh, just because I want that to be the last thing that we do so it ensures that it's absolutely as clean as possible. All right, so just a heads up, there's only there are only two pieces here and they give you enough um, for the top and the bottom. So we're not gonna be doing anything to the sides. And I'm gonna actually be putting the 3M um, right as close as to the edge as possible. So you guys can see that. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick it on just like that. Okay, so we just got the tape all lined up and I'll show you exactly what mine looks like. So this is the top of it. This is the bottom where the arch is. And I just simply ran the tape up just a little bit so it takes over that curve. And you wanna apply some pressure on this just so it sticks. And we are gonna set that aside for now. Let's go ahead and clean off the trunk with the isopropyl alcohol. So 
it looks like there's gonna be a quarter inch gap on each side. So lining this up is pretty simple just because it does come with the three bolts. So I'm gonna start off by peeling the 3M and folding it just like that. As I mentioned, there's about a quarter inch gap on each side. So I'm just gonna do my best to eyeball it, but I'm not gonna stick the tape all the way on just because I wanna make sure that this bolt goes through uh, this hole right here. So you can actually see this hole through this under the trunk, which is convenient. For now, let's just go ahead and line it up. So I'm not pushing on it just yet. I don't want it to stick, at least not yet. But now that I got it lined up and the edge is sticking and I'm able to see the hole from under the trunk. I'm gonna go ahead and get one bolt under there just so it stays in place while I peel the rest of the 3M and get the, other, uh, get the other bolt on. All right, so now that it's lined up, I'm gonna go ahead and peel back the rest of the tape and then get the screws all tightened up. Just to mention, the stock spoiler came with two bolts, whereas this duckbill spoiler came with three screws. So it's gonna be utilizing the center hole on the trunk right here for that third screw, just so you guys know. All right guys, so I finally got the three screws in. So there's one here, one in the middle, and then the third one, uh, on the right side here. You probably noticed this microfiber towel right here and why I did that was to actually catch the screw if it falls in that hole right there. So that screw right there is actually the third screw which is unfortunately located in the middle of the trunk. Just work your way in there and you'll be able to get it. Now it's time to put back everything and let's see how it looks. All right guys, there we have it. The install is now complete. Might say I love the way this looks. I've seen a few spoilers where it's super aggressive and I got this one for the fact that it's nice and subtle and it's a nice upgrade over the stock one. It's not too aggressive, but it still sticks out, which is what I was exactly what I was looking for. And I almost forgot, for anyone wondering, it is visible from the inside of the car. So you'll see it in your rear view. It's just above the third brake light. I think it looks pretty sick from here. And I have the stock one here just for comparison. Uh, this one definitely sticks out more and it goes in towards the, the trunk a lot more than the stock one did. The stock one is basically as wide as the this part right here where my thumb is. And the paint match is spot on and the fitment is great. Overall, the install was super easy. I think the two hardest things were finding the third screw that's in the center right here, just because that uh, bracket on the back side of the trunk was in the way. And I would say that, you know, as with anything that you install in your car, lining it up was probably the most difficult thing, especially when you're dealing with 3M tape, just because you basically have one chance to do it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and close out the video here. The link to this duckbill spoiler will be in the description below. So go ahead and uh, check that out if you guys get a chance. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you guys have absolutely any questions, just feel free to leave them in the comments and I will answer them. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.